Hey guys, today we're going to take a wood burner to a 3D print. See you guys inside. Hey guys, like I said, we're playing with a wood burner today. Why exactly are we playing with a wood burner? Well, we're going to use it to get rid of layer lines, basically, and also help with seam lines. So the kit that I'm going to show you is very cheap. Uh, it's about $36 out on Amazon, I think, is when I purchased it. And I'm going to show you why the different tips and bits can be really kind of neat and help out with not only getting rid of seams, helping with layer, bad layer line areas, but also help with getting removal of supports. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. So when we jump over to the table and I show you the kit and we kind of try to do some of this, my hand's not very good at it. I've tried it some. It definitely takes some practice. So kind of keep that in mind. But before we hop to the desk, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you have any questions about 3D printing or kits like this and stuff like that, definitely hit me down in the comments down below. So let's move over to the desk and take a look at this thing. All right, guys, you can see I kind of have this at my desk. So here is the tool in question. So this is a wood burner. It goes up to very high temperature. Mine's a 110 volt, but what I love about this one is it has digital display and high temperatures. So I can control the temperature. I know how hot this is and it has replaceable bits. So basically I can just unscrew the bit that I have and I can easily open up the bag and put in a different one. So it comes in real handy and the kit that I purchased comes with multiple different types of bits. Um, and actually I am going to switch to, uh, not that one this one for our process. And like I said, what's really nice about this tool is it just screws in and I will get this turned on. So you can see I've got a Miranda class starship or Reliant from Star Trek sitting next to me. I'm going to start heating this guy up, which is just a power button. Maybe. There it goes. So you can see the light turned on. I'm gonna to go to 215 because that's my temperature that I do my PLA at. Now this one also kind of works as a soldering iron, comes with cool stencils and tons of different bits to work with um, and different tools to kind of help out. So really nice kit. Link to this is down in the description below, but I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna to get to this Miranda class. I'm gonna switch the view here. to where we can hopefully see a little bit better of what I'm working on. So I'm just waiting for this to heat up and it's gonna heat that end up nice and hot. That ends brass. And then we're gonna kind of do some work right there. So what's cool about this one too, and in this kit, is there is a screw-in tip that you can put an X-Acto knife and heat it up, turning it into a hot knife. So if you're having to work with supports and different things like that, and they're just really, really stuck, you can use the hot knife to kind of start cutting away at it. Um, if you don't want to do like me and the doom world and do cut and rip and tear, um, which has worked for me relatively well. I've never had to use the hot knife, but if you've got something really delicate, really thin, the hot knife may be the way for you to go. Um, and basically I'm going to use this to even kind of clean up this where the support has kind of roughed it up here at the front and a little bit up here as well, but you can also use it, like I said, you can use it to kind of start cleaning up these layer lines because the heat is going to be really helpful. And the smooth tip of this, it's already getting warm enough that I can start using it. You can kind of just do a pull and start cleaning it up. So basically, I'm gonna use this backwards. It's great for smoothing. It's great for getting rid of layer lines and doing, dealing with problems that have been created by contact points and different things like that. You're just using heat to remold the filament and create a smooth surface. So like I said, I even still need more practice with this method. It's a neat method. I like the, I love the concept. Um, and I love the, the options that these tools give us because it's not just a tool to just do this. I can do all kinds of stuff because it's basically meant to be actually a wood burner and engraver, but you guys can see that I'm cleaning off that material just by using heat. And then also getting rid of the roughness that's been created by the supports that were removed. 
So will I still have to sand? Oh yes, I always sand. Um, but it's just letting me get rid of that roughness, re letting me get a smooth layer back in, not removing or destroying the model itself, because even with this line, I could take the tip of this and put the line back into the model just by placing and dragging and actually pull detail back out. So it is kind of a neat, interesting concept and a really kind of neat tool that I can create a smooth working area and start interjecting more detail. So you guys can see the heat cutting into it and letting me pull this back to a smoother surface and give a glass clean. Same with these layer lines out in the hull, um, like these delicate areas, I can go back and really kind of smooth up what happened and kind of just rebuild the model back to the way it should look. So basically this tool is really nice, especially with this for helping save prints um, that have been, been, you know, may have had a little damage. Um, the other thing that I use this tool for is if I want battle damage, I can use this to carve into the print to create that jagged looking battle damage, which is also kind of a cool thing to do with it. Um, but even like these lines that just need a little bit of touching, I can just drag that tip down the line. Now, a lot of times if I doing this, I will get a straight edge and I will start dragging back in to start really kind of pulling these detail lines back out and to ensure that I get them straight. But you can see like here, they've disappeared during the print process. And I can use this tool to kind of bring them back into the print. So yes, it's just a hot poker, but it does some really cool work and it is kind of a tool, especially if you're cleaning up and wanting to try to kind of fix rough edges and stuff like that. It can be really handy to helping out your prints and helping out just the only thing, safety always first, don't burn yourself because it is at 215 degrees and that would suck. So don't do that. But you guys can already see it's smoothing it and getting giving me um, a better look than that rough support look that I had on there. Um, and even like these warp nacelles, how now they've kind of gotten some bubble texture. I could use the heat and keep going over it and smooth that down as well. Now, traditionally I would do that with sanding and filler primer. Um, which is another video. I haven't done a video on primers yet to talk about that kind of stuff because there is Rust-Oleum's filler primer that works really, really well. This is just kind of a neat tool to kind of get back and actually cut in detail into the model without having to actually, you know, cut it. And this is just remold. Basically all I'm doing is I'm remolding the plastic. is all I'm doing. So awesome tool, great thing to kind of think about. These run 30 to 40 bucks. Definitely if you consider doing it, get one with the temperature gauge so you know how hot your tool is and just kind of something to play around and work with. So now, like I said, for me, I like the hot, I like the hot knife option that I can just cut through some supports with it, different things like that. Now I wouldn't use that on resin because I have um, and I've used this on here as well. I have frozen Sonic Saber. It works really well as well. Um, but this one is just using natural heat to go back and smooth sections of your model, depending on what tip you choose um, and things like that. It's always kind of things to keep in mind. Um, this tip is always a good one. And um, personally, I always enjoy using the kind of ed knife edge tip because inherently when I'm working, I tend to be at an angle anyway. Um, so that actually lets me compensate for my own personal, how I hold the tool to work with it. So the bit kits are really nice. There's a lot of good value for this kit as it comes. But again, two, if you're working on your model and you want to create damage, you can actually just scoop this in and kind of pull and rip and tear to create what looks like a ragged hole in the model as well. So always kind of stuff to keep in mind and play with. Um, and just kind of a good way to smooth and fix jagged areas. Very simple tool, very cheap tool. And actually I'm starting to have a lot of fun here with it, but I know I need to close out the video cause you guys are probably getting tired of watching this one. Um, but it lets you just smooth 
the plastic, creating a much nicer, uh, just a nicer sheen that your paint will lay down on. So awesome tool, fun to play with. Let's close this video out. So guys, that's my input on it. Who knew this little tool could do so much damage to a 3D print, right? Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. And if you're looking for this, look down in the description. I've got a link out to Amazon for it. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.